right now we're gonna pray for 1040 window and uh, this is part of our vision of praying for millions globally in 1040 window we have about 57 countries that are represented about two-thirds of world population and this is the most unchurched and unreached world with the gospel it mostly comprised of Islamic uh, religion uh, Hindus and then Buddhism and there's a large portion as well uh, that is non um, non-religious or some tribes and other places where just a spiritual a spiritual things practice but church God has blessed us in this country not so that we are so that we are just blessed not so we just enjoy the freedoms but that we use this freedom to pray for those that are oppressed stand in the gap for those that are suffering pray for those that don't know Christ like we do they are in bondage to a false religion and today church it's our responsibility as well as our privilege to pray for them I want us right now to unite in this prayer and to begin to pray for millions globally for the vision of this house too for souls to be reached for this generation to be saved for Christ they said we're not just praying for their well-being on this earth we're praying for their eternity to be changed for their eternity to be changed forever poverty is bad abuse and corruption is bad human suffering is bad but listen what's worse is the eternity without Christ and today church let's pray for them let's cry out for them say Lord let their eyes be open to eternity let their eyes be open to you let gospel reach them in the furthest corners of the earth Lord let these nations God we cry now that these nations will be saved right now in the mighty name of Jesus church lift our hands yes stretch Father. your hands forward let's begin to pray we unite together God in one spirit God believing God for this world God believing God that the nations will get to know you Father we come together God and we pray God for millions globally God that anybody and everybody that's not know you God will come to you father we pray right now father that you come encounter them father that you come reveal yourself to them father we pray God over this house God that you will rise up missionaries God that you will rise up evangelists God that you will use every aspect of this church God so we may walk out to the nations God and we may preach the gospel God we may preach your love father we pray that you will use our social media father that you will use our YouTube our music God our ministers God to go out and preach the world to reach thousands locally and millions globally Father, right now we lift up a sword of fire, God, against every demonic power, God. We lift up a sword of fire against every spirit of death, false religion, God. And we declare and we decree, God, that everybody will come to Christ, God. We decree and we declare, Father, that you will begin to move, God, that you will see you move in places you've never been before, God, in places where you, your word cannot be preached, Father, that you'll begin to stir up within that nation, Father, and you will bring them to salvation, Father. I pray right now, God, that you had your protection over their life, God, that you give them the bold God to keep on seeking you God in the midst of trial in the midst of persecution God I ask you for every person that does not know you father that you come encounter and that you come touch them in the mighty name of Jesus yes in the mighty name of Jesus we come against the spirit of religion right now in the mighty name of Jesus that the relationship of Jesus just shines through the territory right now in Jesus mighty name that the light of Jesus just penetrate their heart we come after the kingdom of darkness right now in Jesus mighty name the spirit of religion you break off of them right now in Jesus mighty name Lord shine your light on them allow them to be consumed by your Holy Ghost fire right now in Jesus mighty name all bondages of false religion all bondages of witchcraft of the occult you break off of them right now in Jesus mighty name for that territory is for the Lord and we take it back right now in the mighty name of Jesus we take it back right now in the mighty name of Jesus for we will see them, their names written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We will see them reached by the, by the name of Jesus in Jesus' in name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those of you that are watching us on YouTube and Facebook, if you're from that region right now, from 1040 window, uh, watching from... Um, you can comment from those any of those 57 countries you can comment below uh, and we want to see 
that you're watching from that region because we're praying for you as you type in those names of those countries and cities you live in we're connecting with you by faith in Jesus name right now we're going to strategically pray for the country of Afghanistan I'm sure that unless you're living under the rock you are aware of what's happening right now in Afghanistan Afghanistan is going through a humanitarian crisis it's going through uh, uh, through tragic loss of lives and then and really going backwards on everything that's been built there last last 20 years or so let me just give you a brief brief uh, summary of Afghanistan it has about 31 and a half million population the capital of Afghanistan is is Kabul which uh, about 4.5 million uh, it houses about 4.5 million residents uh, Afghanistan is a landlocked country the crosses uh, in in Central and South Asia so as a landmass it's a very strategic place and therefore throughout ages really that landmass was always involved in some kind of a uh, war some kind of a conquest they witnessed numeri numerous um, military campaigns including those by Alexander the Great uh, Myras, Muslim Arabs, Mongols, British, Soviet Unions, uh, Soviet Union and in 2001 uh, by United States and NATO allies. In current conquest in 1994 Taliban after Soviet Union uh, after Soviet Union and all those wars that were taking place it was really torn apart it was ruled by different tribes and re different religious re uh, different religi religious uh, regions and leaders. Taliban took over and established a, a strict Islamic Shira law. They pretty much conquered about 90% of that territory and they ruled it until 2001. In 2001 the United States and NATO, and NATO allies came in and captured Kabul, the capital city and pushed back Taliban and they retreated to Pakistan. This is where they regrouped in the last 20 years. They tried attacking different areas here and there and when the United States now called the withdrawal they ran they came back and right now they pretty much captured back about 90 percent of the territory and so at the moment right now uh, there's about a hundred thousand or at least uh, Wikipedia says about less than a hundred thousand Christians in that territory about 99 percent of them 99 plus percent of them are Islamic and uh, right now we're we're experiencing and seeing on the news uh, the pretty much that the barbaric things that are happening again in Afghanistan those that work closely with with the United States and allies are being persecuted being killed right now Christians are being persecuted and killed some of the Christians witnessing really difficult time right now there some are getting ready to be killed they have a chance to escape but they're saying they decided to stay to advance the kingdom of God to preach the kingdom of God knowing very well that most likely that they will be killed and uh, I heard a, a testimony of, of, of one pastor on social media that say right now there are when they're getting ready to baptize people before they baptize their uh, uh, the people they ask them are you willing to die for Christ and they say they are willing to die for Christ then they get baptized and so things this is why I took the first prayer I took a moment for us to pray and thank God for the freedoms that we have when you're getting baptized in that pool that we have on the side nobody's asking you are you willing to die for Christ after you get baptized we're expecting to live a good and prosperous and blessed life as we give our life to Jesus Christ but that's not so for our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan some testimonies are coming from Afghanistan from Christians where angels appear to them where, where God comes to them in visions and dreams and giving them routes to escape to the mountains but unfortunately that's not the case for many and so today what I want us to do is I want us to pray for Afghanistan I want us to pray for God's intervention in Afghanistan especially for women and children things are things that are looking very 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 grim for them if all the advancements that were done in the last 20 years there by Western allies they're being rolled back Shira lies being uh, re-established women losing all the rights women are not even able to go outside without accompanied by men they have to be covered from head to toe and the problem right now is all the banks all the shops and all the malls are closed so women cannot even go back and buy themselves full covering so a lot of them they're stuck at home literally waiting to die 
so right now let's pray that God will do something in that region let's pray we're gonna pray right now that the gospel will spread but right now let's pray for protection let's pray for God's um, intervention in that area especially for women small girls and children let's 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 lift our hands let their burden let our let their pain be our pain let's get on our knees right now and let's let's ask God say Lord spare them send their angels to protect them Lord we are praying we're crying out for them they might not be even Christians they might be still Muslim but their pain is still our pain we're still humans let's carry their burden right now let's pray for them let's intercede for them let's intercede for families for men, for, for for mothers for, for for daughters for sons let's cry out and pray for them father right now we lift up afghanistan to your throne oh god father we ask for your mercy and your grace upon all the children god upon all the women all the men god father those that are left behind still over there god we're asking for your intervention oh god father let your grace reach him right now god father we're asking for a hedge of protection God for all the remaining Christians that still remain in that land oh God father God release your angels on behalf of them oh God father release your protection around them oh God father let there be revival oh God but God we're asking for your intervention on behalf of that land God push away every darkness God every scheme of the enemy over Afghanistan let it be pushed out in Jesus mighty name oh God we petition your throne for Afghanistan we're asking you for your mercy oh God God we're asking you for your intervention God on behalf of them of the children God on behalf of the broken God on behalf of those that don't know you and those that do oh God God we're asking for your intervention on this land God Lord, Lord that land has been ripped apart God that land has been torn apart God by division by strife by by corruption oh God God we say let there be light in Afghanistan God let your light shine in Afghanistan God let your mercy reign in Afghanistan God let your grace be in Afghanistan oh God God we are praying for Afghanistan oh God God send your mercy God send your angels God send your favor God send your love oh God God we lift them up to your throne of grace we lift them up we petition to your throne of grace God release your mercy God release your mercy God release your angels into that land oh God father every child every woman God every man let it be covered by the blood of the lamb let it be covered by the blood of the Lamb and the fire of your Holy Spirit, God. Let him be spared, oh God. Protect them, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Protect them from every evil, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Protect them from the scheme of the enemy, oh God. Protect them from the hindrances of the corruption government, oh God. Oh God, we lift them up, God. Oh God, let the corrupt government, God, repent, God. Let the corrupt government, God, have, have encounters like Saul to Paul, oh God. Father, we pray, God. We pray for them lifting up lifting them up to your throne God 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 do what only you can do oh God God release your mercy release your grace release your grace in Afghanistan we pray in Jesus mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name right now let's pray for Christians that are remaining in Afghanistan listen Christianity true Christianity was never afraid of persecution or even death throughout ages Christianity flourished and it grew in the face of being eaten by lions in the face of being crucified upside down in the face of being burned at the stake in the face of persecution Christians they true Christianity never diminished but it grew during the time of persecution right now let's pray for our brothers and sisters remaining and those that choose to stay in Afghanistan choose to embrace the call of God in their life to spread the Christianity let's pray for them let's pray that spirit of boldness will come over them like when when when, I, when disciples were persecuted Bible says that that boldness came over them and they stood up in the face of danger and threat and they preached the gospel even bolder and people knew that there's something different about them that those Taliban fighters that those people that are there right now in Afghanistan that they will see their faith right now in the spite of this persecution and they will come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ 
Right now, let's lift our voices. Let's begin to pray for Christians remaining in Afghanistan. Let's begin to pray that boldness will overtake them and they will spread the gospel despite of the threat and danger in Jesus' name. And that the gospel of Jesus Christ will sweep over Afghanistan and we will see great awakening and revival in Afghanistan. Let's pray. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I just pray right now that you equip them with the full armor of God, Lord, that they will walk in with that helmet of salvation, that shield of faith, that belt of truth, the shoes of peace, that no matter how dark it may go, that they may walk in the peace, knowing that you have trained their hands for war and their fingers for battle to come against the kingdom of darkness and to preach the gospel for your name, for your glory, but for our time on earth earth is like a vapor but the real life starts after earth and we rejoice in that lord uh, just it we release that spirit of boldness over there, that spirit of victory, that the war has already been won, that as we go into battle, we know that it's all for the glory, and there is nothing better than be, to, to be going home to Jesus Christ. Lord, allow them to be bold, to walk in as fierce warriors, fierce soldiers with the sword of the Spirit, to cut down the enemy, to share the gospel in each and every single place that you put them in with boldness, with that power and the security in what is in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cover our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan by your precious blood. In Jesus' name. Father, we speak revival into that region. We speak Afghanistan for Christ. That the gospel will spread, God. And those, God, that will have privilege to lay their life down for you, let their blood cry out God not against that region but for revival and for your spirit to fall on Afghanistan and church if you agree with us come on give a shout of amen and give clap offering to the Lord in Jesus name